Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Gonna test out some winter camping. I'm a little nervous <laughs> because last time you took me up here, it was 21 degrees and we were in a rooftop tent. Jerry cans froze overnight. It was pretty bad. Hopefully that's not the case this time. We were a little bit more prepared, I think, with this camper and you have a heater now, so. There's possibility of some snow coming. I mean, I'd like to do a little bit of snow camping. A little bit of snow camping yeah. is fine. Not too much snow. If it gets terrible, you might see us heading back down the mountain tomorrow and I do want to kind of get the experience of it. For sure. See if we can handle it. See if we're tough enough to handle it. I think we can handle it. We'll handle it at least tonight. I'll commit to that. We're yeah. at least staying tonight. We're a few minutes out from a camp spot that we've stayed before. We'll catch up with you when we get there. See you when we get there. everywhere but I think I'm gonna turn into a snowy mountain because <laughs> it's freezing already and I think this is the warmest day of the trip so yeah I just gotta get acclimated here for a minute throughout this video I'm gonna try and remember to just show a couple little techniques we do or ways we do something I just grab my phone I find a flat spot on the camper well I guess I don't have to do anything flatly <laughs> at that one that's one that, that way is good to go so we'll try left to right now. <laughs> I swear I didn't try that before the camera turned on. I just uh, lucked out with a really good spot. But normally, if this was off by a couple degrees, find a rock or a leveling block, throw it under the tire, and then I keep checking with the phone. It's pretty simple, so a leveling app on the iPhone. I'm gonna open the back up, pop the top, and get some stuff set up. We're heading out on a little walk while the sun's still out and we're gonna continue down this trail next to the river for a little ways. I really thought there was gonna be a lot more snow up here. There's just these little patches everywhere. We remembered this from last time we camped out this way that the campsites are pretty close to the Pacific Crest Trail. I always find it so interesting that out of all of LA County, Riverside County, San Diego County, San Bernardino County, that Kimmy and I are literally the only ones up here camping. I don't know what that means. Are we stupid? <laughs> or I think we're the only ones crazy enough to come up here when it's supposed to be a blizzard. Maybe that's why. Yeah, I don't know if the, the blizzard that they're talking about up north is... That's not necessarily going to be here. Well, we guess might... we'll see. I guess Stay we'll tuned. see. You'll find out. But they're supposed to get like feet of snow up north. We'll see what we get here. Yeah. Better not be feet, otherwise we'll be in trouble. <laughs> that direction does not look very promising, but... We'll see how it turns out. Okay, I think it's happening already because I'm feeling raindrops. So we're gonna head back to the truck. She's out of here on her way back to the truck to beat the rain. Kimmy already made it back. I'm just strolling, but I definitely got caught by the rain.
I don't know if you can hear that wind out there, but it's shaking the whole truck. We're keeping it simple tonight with some bell peppers, onion, salt and pepper, olive oil, uh, some bratwurst, and mix that all together in a pan right here inside the camper. There's actually a decent amount of room to sit in here. Got room for the heater, cook station, front runner boxes. Kimmy over here in the corner still got plenty of room to sit on the bench. And then our whole bedding area is still up there. So I'm texting my sister-in-law and her boyfriend using the Garmin inReach. It's Bluetooth to my phone with the EarthMate app. Uh, I asked them for a weather report, which you can also get through the Garmin device, but I wanted to see what their weather report said as well. We're supposed to get 55 mile an hour winds with two to four feet of snow above 6,000 feet. And we're at exactly 6,000 feet. We'll definitely have to keep an eye on this. For now, just wind, but it seems like the snow is coming. So it's this device you guys have probably seen it so you can text through this but it's hard it's like an old uh, brick cell phone or something so bluetooth thing to your phone is way easier but you can get your current weather you can scroll through and click and see all your temperatures hour by hour between being able to text or just get a weather report straight from this it's a pretty good device i think we pay 12.99 a month for it all wrapped up with dinner and dishes and reorganizing the bed of the truck. Now it's time for bed. We'll see you guys in the morning. There's gonna be a couple inches on the ground when we woke up. I was not expecting this. This is amazing. It's like a full on winter wonderland out here. Well, the storm definitely rolled in last night. There was plenty of snow when we woke up this morning. I'm surprised that there's snow actually because last night we heard raindrops, well, what I thought was raindrops all night long. Yeah. So when we woke up, I was expecting to just see it wet out here. I wasn't expecting any snow. I was hoping for some, for sure, but yeah. this is more than I expected, and it's still just dumping. Like, it's, it's non -stop. thick, thick, heavy snow. It's not that windy right now, but it's supposed to get up to, like, 70 mile an hour gusts today. So, I'm not sure how long we're going to be sticking around. And we're the only ones up here. There's yeah. There's nobody around at all. So, we'll hang out for a while. I'm not sure how long that's going to be. Yeah. Um, I want to keep hanging out because it's so cool. This is probably my favorite camping trip I've ever been on because yeah. it's just so different from when we pulled in yesterday. Yesterday it was, as you guys saw, no snow on the ground hardly, maybe just a couple patches. And now it's like we transported to another location. <laughs> well, we'll keep you updated as the day goes on. Just came back in the camper. We made some yogurt and berries. Now I'm going to make some coffee, warm up a little from being outside this morning.
All right, I think we've decided to call it. It's noon and it's coming down harder and it hasn't stopped. And the wind's picking up. Uh, we should probably get down the mountain before there's just a ridiculous amount of snow. So we'll pack it up and we'll see you guys on the road in a minute. out here while I did some drone flying. I think that's gonna about wrap it up. Yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this trip. Spring's almost here, so I'm not sure if we'll get any more snow camping in this winter, but it'll be nice to know for next winter that we're totally good to go, we're confident yeah. in it. I had my doubts about the whole winter camping, the whole snow camping after the last experience, but now that we have this camper and a heater, I'm totally for it. I really, really like it. So I hope we do it a lot more next winter. And if it snows again, maybe before spring comes, we'll go out again. Yeah. If you made it this far in the video, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.